Okay, uh, well, uh, thank you. Uh, and um, welcome everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, uh, so yeah, so as we mentioned, as was mentioned on uh, Monday by, uh, by uh, Marianne, um, what we have been doing here at the, the uh, 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 SPP, a uh, sitting public project for the last sort of three years or so now, I guess, um, is really uh, helping researchers to make use of uh, existing uh, archived uh, experiment, um, uh, you, know, you know, archived experiments and, and uh, uh, um, information that would help them to add value uh, 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 for their own research. So using uh, in silico uh, models that will help them to focus their own research projects, uh, maybe even to, to go into research um, uh, about corrections that they might not, not, not have uh, anticipated. So I'm going to assume a, a certain level of, of a f familiarity with the whole sort of idea of, of cell signaling, the whole field. But I know we have students who are at, you know, at various uh, points uh, up along their, their academic uh, careers. So uh, if there's anything that's not that you're kind of confused about or that I haven't explained uh, very well, uh, you know, please uh, you know, raise your hand and I'll be happy to go into more uh, 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 detail. So, um, as I said, our interest in the SPP is how cells respond to uh, s signals. And in order to respond to signals from their environment and, fr uh, and from other cells, um, cells have evolved what um, has become to be known as, uh, as signaling um, um, uh, 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 pathways, which are basically uh, specific functional and uh, physical interactions between a, 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 a variety of, of molecules that result in a, a, a certain response of, a, of a, 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 a cell to a specific signal. And you'll hear me uh, throughout this, um, this, uh, this uh, lecture, this, this uh, class refer to uh, nodes. Uh, and by that, I mean molecules that function as nodes uh, within these, these, uh, uh, these uh, pathways. So if you like the nodes, um, Represent these these uh, these uh, signaling molecules, and then your know, edges that run that the queen the nodes represent those functional and uh, and uh, physical interactions that I referred to earlier. And for the purposes of SBP, these can be seen are you know uh, broadly you know you know uh, broken into four main main. Uh, um, uh, 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 categories. Uh, these are receptors, uh, usually at the cell surface, but there is uh, another um, important uh, 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 class uh, of receptors referred to as, uh, as nuclear receptors, which as their name, uh, uh, name implies, uh, are able to go in, uh, into the nucleus and uh, regulate expression uh, directly within the, the uh, 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 nucleus. Um, there are there's a, a whole bunch of different uh, signaling enzymes. And, you know, uh, again, these can be uh, in the the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, 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 you know, which affect uh, post-translational modifications of, of uh, various nodes. Uh, they can also be in the, the uh, nucleus. Um, you may have uh, come across acetylation, uh, you know, acetylation, methylation, DMA, 
demethylation. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's an area of, of a great interest right now. So those are you know, what we refer to as, uh, as nuclear signaling enzymes. Then there are um, of, of, uh, transcription factors, which uh, in the context of, uh, of, a, uh, of a transcription, these are the factors that ultimately uh, determine the response of a specific cell to a specific signal. Now, there are, there are other ways in which a cell uh, can respond to a specific signal. Uh, for purposes of SPP, we are interested in regulation of gene that expression. Uh, there's a fourth, uh, a fourth sort of a category. Uh, we kind of wondered for a, a long time what to, to name this because it, it's really, uh, it includes molecules that function as part of, of uh, signaling pathways, but that, that don't fall into one of these categories. And so we ended up uh, coming up with the rather, rather sort of, sort of uh, of a sort of unimaginative name of 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 of, of uh, co-nodes, but there's a whole bunch uh, of different uh, proteins and uh, you know you know uh, of, 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 of functional RNAs that that are in that particular uh, category. So um, that's also you know a functionally uh, um, uh, 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 relevant. Now, uh, as most of you will know, or uh, you know, have, you may have uh, come across, uh, you know, you know uh, review articles uh, or 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 or, or uh, books in which the the uh, conventional you know a uh, uh, depiction of of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of signaling pathways is this sort of you know a uh, confusing mixture of you know arrows, you know various acronyms. And there, there are a couple of issues with this. So uh, number one, uh, if somebody who weren't f familiar with a particular uh, signaling system were to look at this, uh, it would be, it would be you know, uh, perfectly reasonable for them to sort of uh, come away with the assumption that these are the only pathways that exist uh, within the cell. Uh, uh, number two, uh, when we look at, at uh, pathways, uh, they tend to emphasize the molecules that are actually part of the, the kind of upstream um, sort of detection of the pathway. And usually when you look at these, uh, the expression uh, of the, the genes that they actually regulate, you know, it tends to be sort of, you know, uh, consigned to this sort of big you know, oval that says, you know, these things you know, have got some effect on on expression when really uh, it's it's what these 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 uh, pathways regulate that ultimately will will uh, determine the response of a specific cell to a specific signal. And so, uh, our goal here at, at SPP is to see whether we can uh, use uh, existing archived uh, experiments to sort of illuminate new uh, pathways at number one, that is uh, pathways that, that kind of fall outside these, uh, these, uh, these, these uh, conventional uh, relationships. And uh, number two, to, to sort of emphasize what it is these, these, uh, uh, these, 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 these uh, pathways actually regulate because uh, you know, uh, from our perspective, that is ultimately the most important aspect of any uh, particular pathway is what the response of the cell is. So, where uh, SPP is uh, concerned, the um, uh, we are interested mostly in uh, in in a a, a, a a couple of of uh, categories of uh, of omics uh, experiments. Omics, you're you're uh, probably familiar with the term, but it really represents uh, over the past sort of 20, 25 years the ability to sort of you know automate 
uh, 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 experimental uh, platforms so that we're not looking at one or one or five or a sort of handful of specific molecular events, but we can look over the, the entire cell and we can get an idea uh, of the impact of any alteration in the, the uh, status of a cell, what the impact of that, that is over, over, uh, uh, over the, the, the entire cell. So for the purposes of, uh, of, uh, of uh, transcriptional regulation by, uh, by uh, signaling pathways, the, the two main omics categories that we are most interested in are, uh, are RNA-seq, uh, also uh, expression array, which was sort of the the uh, the uh, precursor uh, of uh, of RNA seq, and is actually still uh, uh, you know uh, 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 widely used. Um, so on the one hand we have those, uh, and on the other hand we have uh, chip seq, and these are independently. Um, uh, these these uh, approaches give you information on the relationship uh, between signaling nodes and their their uh, transcriptional uh, targets, but they each only give you one kind of uh, part of the of the the uh, the overall uh, picture. And what I mean by that is with with RNA seq, you can measure the effect of uh, you know. Uh, uh, treatment of a uh, 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 of a cell on the the uh, levels of the various mRNA uh, 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 transcripts within the cell but it won't it uh, it will give you less information on how those alterations uh, in the level of those those, those uh, 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 transcripts actually happened whereas uh, 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 seek using a specific antibody uh, for a specific IP antigen which represents a specific node, you can find whereabouts in the genome that particular node will, will bind to in response to a specific uh, cellular uh, 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 st st stimulus. But what it won't tell you is what that node when it when it reaches that point uh, what actually happens? So you've got on the one hand you have information on what the response of the cell is to a stimulus, but you don't know the the uh, mechanism. On the other hand, you know what 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 uh, mechanistically happens in response to a specific stimulus, but you don't know what the functional uh, consequences of those are. So. Uh, by integrating uh, RNA-seq, uh, expression array, and chip-seq, um, you can gain a more uh, complete picture of what happens in a cell in response to a specific molecular uh, alteration in the, the, the uh, status of a cell. So, um, oops, excuse me. So for, as I mentioned, uh, for uh, expression array and RNA seq experiments um, at, at, at the SPP, what we do is we look uh, at the specific, uh, um, the specific experimental uh, treatment that was involved. And uh, you know what, 95 times out of 100, we are able to look at that specific uh, treatment, whether it's with a, a, a small molecule, or it can be overexpression, or it can be, you know, siRNA, we can, we can take that particular uh, manipulation and we can, we can map it to a specific node within one of these four uh, categories. Uh, similarly, for chips uh, seek experiments, we can look uh, at the specific IP node antigen, right? That's used for 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 the experiment, and we can say, okay, that that 
that IP antigen is a node in the, the receptor category or it's an enzyme, et cetera, et cetera. And if we, we annotate the, all the experiments in this way, we can begin to, to sort of build up an overall picture of what the relationship between a specific node or a, a, a node family is and it's 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 a uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, 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 transcriptional uh, uh, targets. And the result of this uh, is 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 uh, basically um, uh, it's a couple of uh, of universes of uh, of omics uh, um, experiments. One for 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 expression array uh, RNA seq, and the other for TRIPS seq that have been mapped to the specific uh, node that they were that the uh, the experiments were were uh, were uh, originally designed uh, to inform on. So uh, I'm going to to quickly uh, switch over now to the uh, SPT uh, website and uh, give you some. Examples of what this 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 organization allows us to do. Um, you can look firstly at the level of the actual uh, data set and the and the underlying experiments. Um, so, uh, for example, if I'm interested in a specific uh, a specific receptor, say. Uh, Say epidermal uh, growth factor receptors. Uh, I can filter the uh, the interface uh, for those, and I can then uh, I can then follow these links, and I uh, I can get more information on uh, the specific uh, uh, experiment and the the uh, the 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 underlying uh, experiments, and then also uh, you get a, a sort of a high level view. Of what 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 uh, transcripts within that uh, specific experiment were were most responsive to a, a particular ex, uh, experimental uh, manipulation. Um, so that's one way in which you can uh, interact um, uh, with the data. Uh, another way, and um, uh, which is really you know the most effective way of really you know getting in among the 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 the, the uh, data points and really asking uh, questions is using our our uh, our our uh, search tool which we refer to as uh, as o minor and uh as you'll be finding out when when we do our uh, our, our our exercises later on um, there are a, a, a number of ways in which you can, you know, uh, ask a, a particular uh, question of, of SPP. If you have a particular gene in mind, you can select up that option. Um, so I'm going to type in a uh, gene here. Uh, you can leave all of the, uh, the uh, subsequent menus uh, at their 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 default values. If you do that, what you'll do is you'll get back um, all of the information in SPP uh, in which, uh, in this example, of 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 one is is uh, significantly uh, differentially expressed in response to uh, in a in a uh, particular uh, experiment. So I'm just going to run that that uh, query. So um, you know, right away you get a sense of you know, various receptors whose whose uh, manipulation uh, involves in, in expression or or or, or, or uh, a differential expression of of a red one. Uh, it was actually I was actually originally uh, identified as a a uh, target of the of the estrogen receptor, and so as you might expect. Um, in all of the experiments that involve the manipulation of uh, of estrogen receptors, um, when you when you give the cells that ER agonists, uh, there's almost universal uh, upregulation, 
of this uh, of this of this target. But if you give the cells uh, ER antagonists, that is small molecules that that interfere with the function of ER, you will see a down regulation of this this uh, target. And you know the same applies for a you know, bunch of other uh, receptors and and enzymes, etc. So there are a number of other query options that will be coming on to later, but they, they have the same basic uh, functionality in that you give SPP a list of one or more uh, genes and uh, specify a particular experimental conditions and it will return to you uh, all of the results in which that list of all that targets is is differentially expressed. Okay. Okay. So uh, an approach that we uh, introduced in the the uh, first sort of you know introductory SPP article, which hopefully you guys. Uh, had had an opportunity to look at is is what we we is what we call a consensome a, a, a consensome analysis, and as the name uh, consensomes implies, what we are looking for with all these experiments that we have mapped to specific uh, nodes or or uh, node families. Is we're looking for some sort of form of uh, of a consensus over each of these individual groups of experiments as to the the uh, the uh, the uh, transcriptional targets that are most uh, consistently and and reproducibly uh, differentially expressed in the case of of uh, of expression array and RNA seq or in the case of type seq. Um, what what the the uh, str the strength of the regulatory relationship is is uh, between these nodes and their their uh, their uh, downstream targets and a a representation that isn't that isn't available on the SPP site right now but that we we introduced in that that SPP article and I think makes this this idea easier to understand is in this 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 uh, uh, this uh, uh, sc scatter plot uh, representation uh, and so as I mentioned earlier we're interested in uh, on the one hand uh, transcriptomic data sets and on the other seek and so I will discuss the consensus or the the approach for a consensus analysis for each because uh, because these are you know, distinct uh, experimental uh, platforms, the way in which we, we uh, calculate uh, consensus is a little uh, different uh, for each. So for, for, for uh, transcriptomic experiments, and here using the example of uh, the, uh, the, the human insulin receptor family, which is an insulin receptor itself, but also receptors for, uh, for, for, uh, for IGF-1 uh, and others. Uh, what we have done is we've gone into the public archives. We have, uh, we have identified experiments that involve manipulation of, of members of the human insulin re receptor family in, 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 in some of form, whether that's a small molecule, it could be insulin uh, itself, it could be uh, an insulin, uh, insulin analog, um, it can be an overexpression of insulin receptor, siRNA, etc. And we then look over all of those experiments and we, 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 we identify how frequently each, each, uh, each, uh, uh, Transcript within the cell is significantly uh, differentially expressed in response. So on the x-axis here, you have the the uh, consensus uh, p-value, which uh, is the the uh, um, uh, sorry, there's an there's an insect in here which I, I keep having to oh, 
swat away. Um, it's the basically the, the uh, probability that the the observed uh, frequency of of uh, of uh, of uh, of, uh, of uh, significant differential expression for each uh, transcript is is a uh, random event. Uh, and on the y-axis, um, it it, uh, it basically organizes these these uh, values into into uh, into uh, percentiles. And what this gives us is a means of, of uh, comparing the rankings for a particular uh, transcript between different uh, consensums. And that's an important point because I, I'm going to come back to that. Um, uh, up later. So uh, up here uh, at the, the uh, top, you have have uh, transcripts that have very low uh, p-values, uh, uh, and by inference, they are highly responsive uh, to insulin receptor family uh, signaling. Um, they are less responsive here at, uh, at uh, higher uh, p-values. Uh, and, and at the bottom, where you have uh, uh, transcripts that have consensual p-values of one or uh, you know a near one, we can infer that these are almost uh, in, uh, almost in, uh, entirely unresponsive to manipulation of of, uh, of uh, members of the insulin receptor family. And with this, as with all of our other uh, consensomes, we have conf confirmed that the consensome uh, assigns low uh, p-values and therefore high rankings to uh, to uh, uh, to uh, uh, transcripts that are already known from the research literature uh, to be uh, transcriptal targets of insulin. Uh, but what but what we also find is that there are other uh, transcripts that are that are uh, very highly ranked within these consensums for which there is no information that in the research literature and so I think you're beginning to get a sense now of, of uh, what the value of this this uh, approach is is that it allows you to sort of think outside the the, the research literature um, you know because you know, like typically, if you want to know things that are regulated by a particular node, a particular receptor, enzyme, et cetera, uh, in the past that has involved going into the research literature. But there are now resources like, like SPP you know, uh, you know, and others, you know, uh, we're not the only ones in this area, but um, where you can go and find evidence for regulation of a particular you know, set of factors by a node that that isn't in the the uh, research literature, um, and using using uh, chip seq data sets, um, the way in which we uh, calculate the uh, consensus is again looking over all the experiments uh, in which a particular uh, IP antigen uh, representing a, a, a node here using the uh, transcription factor ATF4 as, as an example, uh, we, uh, we uh, calculate the mean at max, max to uh, peak score. And it's basically, this is a score that, that is uh, an indication of, uh, of um, the extent to which a particular IP antigen is interacting with a specific uh, sequence. Within, and we can then uh, uh, we can then infer from that sequence uh, the the uh, the uh, pro promoter uh, uh, to which that particular node is uh, is uh, binding, and so we use this then to as as a a a measure of the the uh, strength of the the regulatory relationship between a particular node and a a, a pro promoter. So I'm going to switch um, gears now um, here, and uh, I'm going to basically put our work in SPP uh, in, in the, the uh, context of a sort of you know a real life 
um, you know, example of how it can be uh, applied to help um, researchers uh, gain insight uh, into you know uh, uh, into uh, uh, molecular events, signaling events that are operating within their their system of, of uh, interest. Because we we kind of you know invested all this effort in in mapping experiments to nodes and then looking within those experiments and you know you know, you know uh, getting some idea of what the the relative uh, uh, strength of the the uh, transcriptional relationship is between a node and a uh, target. But how do we use this information? And so. I'm going to give you examples uh, of how SVP can be used within the uh, context of um, uh, uh, a, a uh, crisis that's that's uh, impacting uh, everybody here. You know, not just us. You know, the millions and millions of people uh, around the world, and that is, of course, the the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, COVID nineteen. Uh, epidemic. So um, we, when this all sort of sort of uh, kicked off, and we had to basically uh, go home and and sit in our houses. Well, we we either had the option of you know sitting around watching uh, uh, you know uh, uh, watching uh, you know Amazon or or uh, Netflix for 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 uh, six months or we thought, you know, how can we uh, maybe, you know, add value uh, to SPP and to help uh, researchers maybe uh, gain insights into how infection uh, of cells with with the the uh, SARS uh, CoV two uh, virus, um, what's what particular mechanisms within the cell? What's what's the 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 the, the interface uh, between uh, infection with this this uh, this uh, virus and the response of of this cell. So um, myself and my my uh, my uh, colleague uh, Scott Oxner, uh, he's our lead uh, bio uh, curator. Um, uh, he went into the 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 um, the uh, archives and uh, identified a, a a set of experiments, you know, archived data sets that involved infection of of a, of, uh, of a human cells with uh, a member of the uh, the uh, coronavirus uh, family. Uh, these were mostly uh, SARS CoV one, uh, MERS H. Um, uh, when we when we when we uh, began this work, there was only one uh, SARS uh, CoV two uh, data set archived, understandably because it had only been you know, identified recently. Uh, but in the intervening uh, weeks since we uh, began this work, more and more of these have been added, and that's really helped us to get a more sort of a clear picture. Of what particular uh, transcripts are responding to uh, SARS uh, CoV two infection, and we also wanted to to uh, pr pr bring along a, a uh, virus that was not a a a a, 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 a coronavirus uh, virus, but that had also been studied in detail, and that would allow us to get some idea of what. Uh, our transcriptional responses of these cells were specific to uh, to uh, 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 coronaviruses uh, versus uh, influenza A. So, using these 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 uh, data sets, we use the the consensus web principle, which, as you, uh, as you recall, um, it ranks. Uh, Transcripts based on their responsiveness, or uh, their their responsiveness to a specific um, uh, a specific cell uh, 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 st uh, uh, st uh, st stimulus, 
uh, I used the example of, uh, of uh, manipulation of a, 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 a node uh, up till now, but here we are taking those principles and we are applying them to uh, situations where the, the stimulus is infection of a cell with a specific virus. And so using these, these uh, experiments, we, we uh, come up with five uh, uh, consensums for SARS-CoV-1, SARS-CoV-2, MERS. We also uh, came up with a, a, what we call a, 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 a pan-CoV, and what this allows users is, is to get an idea of what transcripts are responsive to infection by all uh, 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 coronaviruses. And then finally, one for, for influenza virus. Okay. And so we first wanted to get a sense of what uh, transcripts were most reproducibly and consistently uh, 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 differentially expressed over all the experiments. Um, and so in order to uh, convince researchers that the consensums would be useful for actually uh, giving them insights into what uh, signaling systems within human cells were impacted by infection by, by uh, COVIDs, we wanted first to, to, uh, to uh, demonstrate that they made sense, uh, if you will, in the context of existing literature uh, uh, knowledge uh, around uh, the impact of of uh, of a COVID infection on on uh, cells, so as as an an initial uh, uh, you know, uh, benchmark, uh, if you will, for the 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 uh, pan uh, 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 COVID uh, consensus, we we identified a list of about. Uh, 20 uh, interferon uh, stimulated transcripts, and these encode many of the uh, factors that are whose role in uh, in, uh, in in innate immunity is is a uh, is a uh, very well known from the the uh, research literature, and so we would expect that if these uh, co consensums were were accurately uh, uh, modeling the uh, transcriptional response to uh, COVID infection, that they would assign high rankings. Okay, so that's things that are very uh, consistently and reproducibly um, uh, differentially expressed. They would assign high rankings to those those uh, transcripts in response to to uh, COVID infection. And as you can see, uh, um, all of these the, these uh, transcripts uh, indicated here in in orange uh, are assigned at very high rankings within the uh, uh, consensus. So this was a nice you know, initial uh, you know, independent validation uh, of our of the the uh, consensus approach. And so we, we wanted then to to uh, go on to do a little bit more more detailed you know, uh, you know, analysis of these uh, consensums using the consensums that we already had for the various um, uh, signaling uh, pathway nodes and and uh, and node uh, uh, f f families. So, in order to do that. Um, I'm going to take you back now to our our uh, our our uh, consensus uh, scatter plots, and here um, I've indicated targets that are in the the 95th uh, uh, percentile of a particular uh, con uh, a particular uh, consensus, and so these are what we refer to as high. Uh, confidence uh, transcriptional uh, 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 targets. And we can 
using a, an approach that we that we have uh, have uh, developed uh, that's called high uh, confidence uh, transcript overlap analysis or HCT overlap analysis. We can look at, at uh, targets that are frequently uh, differentially expressed in response to infection by a particular uh, a particular uh, virus, and we can we can we can uh, compute those against. Um, all of the uh, consensums that we already have with, within SPP. And um, so we can uh, compute those against those, those uh, consensums. And we can use this approach to identify nodes whose, whose HCTs are, are overrepresented within the, uh, the uh, COVID infection uh, 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 consensum. And this overlap uh, can be expressed in the form uh, of an uh, uh, of an odds ratio and an and associated uh, p-value. Now, there's a certain amount of overlap that we would expect, you know, uh, randomly, and uh, and in those situations, the the odds ratio would be would be uh, you know lower, uh, and the p-value would be uh, uh, would be higher. But the larger the degree of overlap uh, 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 between a specific node and and uh, ACTs for for a uh, COVID infection, the larger that overlap, the larger is the the uh, odds ratio, the lower is the p value, and the less likely it is that this overlap is some kind of you know a random event, and the more likely it is. That that specific node is 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 uh, somehow involved in the the uh, the uh, transcriptional response to to uh, 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 COVID infection. And so what we did next was we took our list of about uh, at this point we have about eight hundred and fifty eight hundred and sixty uh, 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 consensums for 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 uh, various nodes and node families we took the 95th uh, 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 percentile of each of those uh, consensums so those are our, our ACTs and we then ran an analysis where we, we uh, compared the the overlap of those ACTs with the high high uh, confidence targets for each of the three coronaviruses. And uh, in the next uh, few slides, the, the, the odds ratio, which is the extent of the, the uh, overlap, uh, is gonna be in the form of this, 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 this heat map with, the, with the, the higher odds ratio being this more sort of, sort of intense um, red. So again, so uh, going back to what we would expect, what we would expect uh, to see, uh, there's already you know, a lot of research into the effect of a COVID infection on cells. And there's already some information on the particular nodes that are involved in the response. So, if our analysis is useful for, for uh, predicting uh, new nodes in that response, what we'd also want to see is that it's, it's uh, identifying those nodes where researchers using, you know, a bench, using a bench-based approaches have arrived at the same uh, 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 con conclusion. And over the next few slides, I'm going to go through some examples of this. So, uh, you know, with various examples of this where we're, we're you know, accurately identifying already existing knowledge is in the case of interferon receptors. So you're seeing much higher odds ratios here for the, each of the, the uh, viruses. Interestingly, it's higher for SARS-1 and, and 
sorry, two vanities for for MERS, which uh, you 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 know, might Im uh, imply that interferon signaling is is relatively specific to stars over 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 at MERS. Uh, there are other examples of this. Uh, 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 Co-like uh, receptors are also known to be involved in response to SARS. We see a higher odds ratios uh, for those. Similarly, tumor uh, 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 factor receptors are also known to be involved, and also uh, corticoid receptors. And Actually, if you've been watching the, uh, been, been uh, keeping up with the uh, news, you'll probably have heard that uh, a, uh, a, 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 a dexamethasone, which is a, a corticoid receptor agonist, which is used, you know, widely used for uh, a lot of inf uh, inf inflammatory uh, conditions. That, that has actually been shown to be uh, effective in the the uh, treatment of uh, of uh, of a uh, of uh, COVID nineteen, and so that's that's uh, consistent uh, uh, with our um, uh, with our uh, analysis. So similarly, for uh, for uh, 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 transcription factors, we're also uh, identifying. Um, uh, overlaps for members of the uh, the NFA Kappa B uh, family, uh, also uh, regulatory systems. These are known to be involved also, and also members of the 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 IRF uh, family. Uh, we also uh, saw this particularly um, large uh, odds ratio. Um, in the case of, of a SARS-1 and SARS-2 for a specific member of the STAT um, family. And while our, our, our manuscript was, was under, was under a review, um, this article appeared in, uh, in uh, BioArchived, where this group from, from, from uh, Belgium had developed a, 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 a hamster model of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, SARS uh, CoV two infection, and they also independently identified STAT two uh, as an important uh, 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 target of uh, SARS CoV two infection. Um, for enzymes, uh, there's not as much uh, in the research literature on the, on the role of enzymes. What there is out there uh, impl uh, implicates uh, implicates uh, CDK6, uh, which is a member of the the uh, cyclin uh, uh, dependent uh, 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 kinase family. And as you can see from this heat map, there's a real uh, one of the the nodes that really leaps out here is is at CDK6, and so that is consistent with what is what is already known. Um, in terms of of uh, co nodes, are on the I'm sorry, uh, continuing with enzymes, uh, way back uh, when uh, one of the first uh, uh, human uh, proteins that was actually uh, identified. As a a a, 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 a viral uh, uh, target was was uh, was a p three hundred, and it also has a, a, a functional hom homologue of CDP. Uh, we don't, these these odds ratios aren't aren't quite as as uh, as as, uh, as uh, eye watering as as uh, as uh, as uh, CDK six, but they are there. So it indicates that there is. Some uh, functional uh, interaction of 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 a uh, uh, p three hundred and and uh, CDP uh, in res uh, in response to infection with these these uh, uh, f f f uh, f viruses. So uh, up till now, I have focused on what how our analysis is is, uh, is aligned with what's 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 already known. So what I want to do now with the few minutes that we have left before we, we reach the, the uh, top of the hour, and then we'll have a, 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 a five minute uh, 
brick is I want to show you examples where we, we used our analysis to identify potentially novel uh, 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 targets of, of, uh, of uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection. So one of the, the uh, receptors for which we saw a particularly large odds ratio was the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, progesterone receptor. And when we went in and we looked at the underlying, uh, um, underlying experiments um, within SPP, what we noticed was that, um, that, that, that uh, transcripts that were upregulated in response to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, up, 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 uh, SARS CoV two infection were also upregulated in response to to uh, treatment of cells with the the uh, the uh, progesterone receptor a full and uh, a full antagonist RU four eighty six. And so this indicated to us the, the uh, hypothesis that there might be some kind of, uh, of, of, of antagonistic uh, interaction between signaling through a uh, progesterone receptor and, 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 and uh, uh, SARS-2 infection in the, the, uh, the uh, lung, uh, lung uh, epithelium. And this is interesting uh, because uh, one of the, the earliest articles that appeared um, after this whole, whole uh, COVID-19 uh, issue uh, kicked off was that um, many uh, uh, pregnant women who, who, uh, who uh, presented um, with, with a COVID-19 infection were actually asymptomatic in that they didn't have the symptoms of 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 that uh, respiratory uh, distress that 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 the other uh, patients had, and actually, um, and, you know, again, while our our uh, manuscript was under 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 uh, review, a a, a, a uh, clinical uh, trial was launched at at uh, Cedars Sinai at Medical Center. Uh, that the the uh, aim of which was to uh, evaluate uh, 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 progesterone for the the uh, treatment of of uh, COVID nineteen in men, and so this again was an example of what we used uh, you know uh, using only only uh, experimental uh, data points that had been annotated within uh, SPP. We were able to uh, pr we were able to accurately uh, predict the role of a specific node in response to infection. One last example involves epithelial to mesenchymal uh, 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 transition. There are specific nodes that are known to be involved in this uh, process. When we went in and looked at the the odds ratios for the various uh, uh, consensomes. We find that uh, several factors that have uh, known roles in uh, in EMT had uh, odds ratios, uh, significant odds ratios that were specific to SARS uh, SARS uh, CoV two, and there here there are various uh, examples of these. Now uh, SARS or rather EMT has been known to uh, contribute to to uh, Pathological conditions that are also associated with 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 uh, with uh, uh, SARS-2 uh, infection, and so we wanted to get some idea of whether we could get any more ev evidence of the involvement of of EMT in this 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 uh, um, in in response to to uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, infection. And uh, to do this, we used a list of uh, factors that have been annotated from the research literature as being functionally involved in, uh, in, in EMT. And when we looked at where these factors were, were ranked within the SARS-CoV-2 infection, we found that these, these, these EMT factors 
were were overrepresented within the SARS uh, COVID two high uh, high confidence uh, 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 targets. And more interestingly, still, when we uh, compared the rankings of these EMT uh, factors uh, between the different uh, uh, consensums, we saw that they were they were much more responsive to infection by SARS-CoV-2 than in any of the other uh, in response to infection with any of the other uh, um, the any of the other uh, SARS-1, MERS, or uh, or or IAV. And so this is evidence that these EMT factors are being very uh, are being very efficiently regulated in response to infection by SARS uh, SARS CoV two, uh, but less so in the case of of other viruses. Uh, and again, um, uh, just recently within the past few weeks. This article appeared again in in uh, in a bioarchive uh, while ours was was under under a review, where uh, uh, researchers had used experimental uh, 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 approaches to uh, identify uh, EMT as being involved in the response to to uh, SARS uh, CoV two infection. So um, we're kind of reaching the, the uh, top of the hour here. I wanted to put the SPP in the the uh, 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 the uh, uh, context of of uh, DKNet. At the minute, we exist as a a separate entity, even though we are funded under the same award. Uh, what we are planning to do over the uh, the uh, remainder of our uh, funding cycle. Is to integrate these these uh, pipelines, these 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 uh, consensome and, and HCT overlap analysis pipelines, into SPP or into into uh, DKNet rather, uh, in a resource that we refer to as the the uh, the hypothesis center. And the idea is that researchers will have their own list of of uh, factors, uh, you know. Uh, 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 per one scripts, whether it's from you know an RNA seq experiment or from a, a, a putting interaction screen, and they want to get more information about what are the upstream nodes that are involved in in regulating the expression of these factors, that they'll be able to come to the the uh, the hypothesis center and ask those those uh, questions and and uh, uh, and uh, get back um, you know, evidence for uh, specific nodes that are operating within their their uh, system of uh, of interest.